So as mentioned in the last video, we're going to uh, create an array where an array, an actual uh, variable where we can store our data for each uh, time we open this uh, to store the ID for each time we open the dialog box to do the edit. So go back up to your return up here uh, and after the item here, we're going to create something called active edit item. That's the name I'm going to call it. Uh, and we're going to set this to null because it's going to be empty once we load the system. We don't want it to have anything. Uh, so it's just ready to be used. All right, so this is the name we're going to be using to control the data, uh, control the ID, sorry. And what we want to do is as soon as we open our edit item here, we want to store this here. So we're going to do this dot item ugh. active item here is equal to the ID uh, All this ID is being stored here. So if we do this and save, we can now use this um, in our system. So let's click view. Let's do this. So we have an active I active edit item here set to null, right? So if I click this, this should be undefined. That's not right. Uh, and let's click this here. It says still this undefined. So I made an error somewhere. Um, oh, <coughs> sorry. This is not uh, this. It's uh, item, not sorry. If you just this button, my line here inside this, uh, this is not this. This is supposed to be the item because that's the name up here, right? Woohoo! Great on me. So let's try this again. Click it here so we can see it down here. Click this, and now we get the actual ID of the item. And again, this should change when we click a new one. Great. So now we have that one here, and we can now use this specific. A variable here for each time we open up our uh, edit. So we're going to copy this in uh, and put this over this item here. So let's try this. Save and let's see what happens here. And again, we're going to use the test here. So let's just change the value. I'm going to open the console log here, remove this uh, and open this up and switch this to uh, like, let's say 30. So that's a new number. Edit item. We have document successfully updated. It's at 30 over here. Let's go to our project and it says 30 here. So now we have an, now we're able to update our project uh, throughout this dialog box. And if we do the same with salmon, we can do here, it's gonna be uh, this price instead. And we get the, uh, we can expand this because right now it says two. Uh, and or we can just go in and check. So where's the salmon one? So we have 35. And it also re-renders the pages over here because we're using UX and we're using re-rendering and so on. So everything is live in real time now. So instant change if we do something here once we save it, right? Cool. So this is how we can update an item and edit an item as well. Uh, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can set up what we call a toast. Uh, I think it's called a toast uh, in Vue X, but uh, so a little pop-up window window up here, or drop down, whatever you want to call it, says item successfully updated. All right, see you in the next video.